Ethereum mining profitability is just absolutely insane. I haven't seen anything like this from a dollar point of view actually ever, including the previous cryptocurrency bull run where Ethereum mining was quite literally like a gold rush. I'm talking $500 a day or more if you have the latest and greatest Ethereum miners. But it's not just about the purpose-built machines, those ASIC miners that can also mine Ethereum. Graphics cards, the best new graphics cards, mining $30 a day in Ethereum mining profitability. That's crazy. Right, you talk about earning passive income, it doesn't get any better than this. To be quite honest, like you're literally throwing away free money, right? You know, do you like free money? Better yet, do you like free money? Like you're throwing away free money if you don't have your graphics cards mining Ethereum or other cryptocurrencies because we're dealing with the rising sea scenario. Ethereum mining has just literally brought all GPU mining up to huge profitability numbers but there's a trojan horse in ethereum mining which we're going to talk about today too so let's review the most profitable ethereum miners i have a lot of these in hand here at my garage mining farm and just littered throughout my house and stuff as well as review gpu mining profitability on ethereum real world mining numbers and just the craziness of the crypto bull run right now. But first, you know, we're running 10 seconds of tails, a resident Shiba Inu, and Dogecoin, another pump and ship coin. Crazy time. Here's a quick message from our month's video sponsor, Compass, who are aiming to become the best marketplace for the purchase of Bitcoin mining ASICs and the best place to find cheap power prices at verified mining co-location facilities around the world. Mine with Compass with our link in the video description below. My name is Vosk and you're on the Voscoin YouTube channel. I've been mining cryptocurrency basically full time for over four years. I'm not saying I know everything, but I definitely know more than I did a couple of years ago. And I just want to try to translate some of that into today's video. But first, like, let's talk about the exciting part. Let's talk about the profitable part. Let's let's talk about just turning your computer hardware into passive income for you, making easy money online. It's like those cringy ads from 10 years ago, but it's true now. So the latest and greatest graphics card, the GeForce RTX 39 by Nvidia and one of our favorite cards for mining it, the Radeon 7. Absolutely beautiful graphics card. And I had so much fun reviewing that a couple years ago. Just crazy. But it's not all about the latest gens, right? What about an RX 580? A gigabyte model though, by the way. A graphics card that came out in early 2017. There was really just a rehashed version of the RX 480 that came out in the middle of June. Absolutely insane. Uh, you know, if you've got graphics cards, custom computer hardware right now, and you're not putting it to use, I mean, you're literally just missing out, wasting money, throwing it away. Money that you can make without doing anything that you choose to not make is the same as just throwing it away as far as I'm concerned. You don't even have to like cryptocurrency. Go ahead, mine this, turn it into dollars and get yourself a free lunch, whatever. You're still decentralized on the network and proof of work and mining and all that crazy stuff. But, you know, 10 graphics cards, right? help you make about a $100 a day with a big, beautiful GPU mining rig right now. The miners that like really grab attention when you look at the charts are the new Ethereum ASIC miners. The A11 will be clearing over or would be clearing over $500 a day right now if you had one. That's insane. Using only about $6 of electricity at a residential electric rate and pulling over $515 in Ethereum mining profitability daily so it's projected to make six figures right annually but it's not all butterflies and donuts my friend it's not that simple which i'll explain a bit more about that here in a second if you have the a10 pro which is the 750 mega hash uh, asic miner by inno silicon you would be mining almost 200 dollars a day 
I really have not seen many of these in the wild, but they are certainly real and produced, but I haven't been able to get one on hand to review. I have two InnoSilicon A10 Pro ETH miners here. Right now, they are projected to be mining about $130 a day, and Ethereum mining profitability is absolutely skyrocketing. I mean, it's basically doubled in just the last week. But why? Ethereum just recently hit a new all-time high and Ethereum gas fees are through the roof. What does that mean? So the more people that use Ethereum, the more transactions are on it and you basically pay a higher transaction fee to get to the front of the line. So the more people trying to use it, the fee goes up and up and up and that fee currently goes to the miners, but that may not always be the case or that will not always be the case, which I'll talk about here shortly. The crypto.com app is freaking awesome. And I'm not just saying that because they're an annual sponsor of the Voscoin YouTube channel. I have been enjoying their app long before then and they make it easy to buy, sell, trade and also stake cryptocurrencies. Yeah, stake the coins, earn interest, earning passive income. They say that's the key to financial success and you earn interest in the coins you're staking. So click, click, I'm staking my Ethereum and now I'm earning more and it's not locked up in this weird Ethereum 2.0 thing and maybe I'll never get my coins back and whatever. You also get $25 for free if you use our link and complete the sign up bonus or simply our code VOSCOIN. Remember, this is the app, crypto.com app available on iOS and Android, not their web exchange. It's available for almost everyone except for people in New York. Sorry guys. <laughs> out in the video description below. We recently made a video about the Bitmain Antminer E9, and it's gonna mine Ethereum at three giga hash a second. You compare that to the A11, which is supposed to mine at 2000 mega hash a second, which translates to two giga hash a second. So that means the E9 would be clearing over $750 a day. You can best believe that Bitmain is turning all of these on at their factory, at their mining farms, which by the way, Bitmain has huge, huge ASIC mining farms. I mean, look at these pictures that are, you know, readily available on the internet. Incredibly insane mining, mining profitability potential here. And every time there's a cryptocurrency bull run, they're always dropping a new Ethereum ASIC miner. Just like in the previous one, tail end of that, they finally started selling their Ethereum uh, ASIC, the Antminer E3. At the time of this video, $1,000 would get you about 0.239 Ethereum. Last year, that would have gotten you over maybe like eight or nine Ethereum at uh, numerous times during the year, which is just kind of crazy, right? We take the conservative number, eight Ethereum then for like a grand, just a lowly 33 grand now. Crazy how things change and how mining Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies can quite literally change your life. But is it still worth it? EIP 1559, Ethereum Improvement Proposal. Basically, they're looking to burn Ethereum gas fees and change the way it works, and they're hoping that it reduces how much gas fees cost. Well, one key note here is that this will reduce Ethereum mining profitability. Previously projected to be like 30%, now I think it's gonna be more like a 50% reduction in Ethereum mining profitability though. The crazy thing is, is that, all right, fine, cut $500 in half. Is still making 250 a day. That's still wildly, absolutely wildly insane. But that's just a piece of the Trojan horse. That some people don't want to know about, or they don't know about, or they don't understand, or whatever. That will reduce Ethereum mining profitability. Ethereum is actively working towards Ethereum 2.0. It's a proof of stake blockchain as their consensus mechanism, as opposed to proof of work, which is mining. So Ethereum 1.0, which is what we deal with now, mineable blockchain, Ethereum miners making money, passive income with hardware. Now you can take your Ethereum and earn passive income with it running a validator node. You get a big old whopping 7.5% for doing that. And there's over 4.4 million Ethereum already staked on the Ethereum 2.0 network because it is live but they're still kind of running in tandem as they try to finish developing and working out the kinks. So let's talk about a couple of things, right? Well, first, this is a little, uh, this looking into an inner silicon A10 Ethereum miner. This is what the dashboard looks like, but this is what it really should look like. 
and this is just a quick glance at it it's very simple very easy to use right so you can go to the settings you go to the performance you can crank it from efficiency or performance and it will basically become less efficient but have a higher hash rate you can set up you know where you're mining put that in click click and that's it it, it couldn't be more straightforward we've talked about building mining rigs a hundred times and we recently just did a video on the nicehash.com slash quick miner and i bring this up because if you just have no idea about this you can click click and start mining now and it's so freaking easy it's crazy i have never that they have without a doubt created the easiest mining rig ever created because click click mining and Another one more click, optimize your GPU, initiate overclocks and basically achieve higher mining profitability. So maybe you're like, all right, dude, you know, this seems cool. I want to get an Ethereum miner, which I'll talk more about like the potential negatives here in a second. But you're like, yeah, dude, I want one of those. OK, you go over the site. They're all sold out and instantly sold out. And really, they're making deals behind the scenes. They're making deals and emails. And it's just a nightmare. You're like, all right, well, that's fine. You know, maybe I, I don't want to deal with an Silicon. I'll go to that Bitman. You said their miner is going to be bigger and better and more profitable anyway. So you click on Ant Miner. They haven't even, they don't list anything here anymore. They sell all this stuff through their distribution networks. There's so many people with so much money that are scooping these things up now in this kind of market. It's just absolutely insane. If you seriously want to get an Ethereum ASIC miner or really any other ASIC miner at like a decent deal at all, I recommend you check out Coin Mining Central. They didn't sponsor this video, but they do help us source these miners. Okay. And the, the, the big takeaway here is you can go to their site, come down here, click information, contact them, or simply email them directly at info at coinminingcentral.com. Keep in mind, they are a reseller and a lot of their prices are increased by the manufacturers. You also get 3% off with Voscoin. Again, I'm not here like making a killing, referring them, referring you to them or anything like that. They literally help me source miners, which is invaluable as I try to make crypto mining reviews where getting miners is so freaking difficult. I'd like to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Smogs NFT and their SMG token that they have launched on the Binance Smart Chain. But what is Smogs, right? They're creating an NFT world and they're claiming it's powered by AI, artificial intelligence. And this is a marketplace where you can sell your digital assets like NFT tokens, non-fungible tokens, again, all taking place on the Binance Smart Chain. They have their own token that you can buy or sell on a decentralized exchange, specifically PancakeSwap which is the most popular DEX or decentralized exchange on the Binance Smart Chain. You can create NFTs and on the Binance Smart Chain is gonna be cheaper than Ethereum, which is really just ridiculously expensive to transact on right now. The transactions are fast on the Binance Smart Chain. Why? Because it's centralized. And you even earn random NFT smog gifts. So you're gonna be earning NFTs while you're making NFTs, and before you know it, Exhibit might show up and try to pimp your ride. One of the things we like about smogs.com is the fact that their team is public, right? This isn't some anonymous dev team. You know, always interesting and good to see in this market because in a bull run, a lot of anonymous teams come out and fortunately, because there's no accountability, they do bad things like rug pull and exit scam. But why do they have like their own token, right? Well, one of the reasons is that revolves around the governance of their platform because it's crypto so it's supposed to be decentralized and give the community a way to kind of interact and vote with what the project's going to do next the key differentiating factor for smogs is the fact that their nft marketplace is fully decentralized via smart contracts as well as the ability to earn extra nft gifts just for using their platform so if you want to learn more about smogs and nfts which are really just all the rage right now click the link below and check out smogs.com so here's the kicker right ethereum mining is super profitable but like how do you get into it right is, is it worth getting into well i mean that's kind of up for you to decide sure like maybe buy some graphics cards 
that's pretty hard to do right now because they're all like kind of sold out. Uh, maybe you just buy an Ethereum ASIC miner. It's purpose built for this. That, that makes sense. That's what I wanted to do anyway. Well, those are pretty sold out and sought after right now as well. Even with kind of like just a lot of uncertainty on the horizon. EIP 1559 will absolutely reduce Ethereum mining profitability. Whenever they end up moving to Ethereum 2.0, which I literally have a whole video talking about when will Ethereum mining end, and you're like, oh, well, 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 give me the short answer. When will it end? Here it is. Late 2021, early 2022. I would be, I'd be a little surprised if it happens in 2022. I expect 2023 because Ethereum is never on time with their roadmap. But the biggest takeaway and kind of warning, I guess if I could tell you anything, just piece of advice, is we are in a crypto bull run and Ethereum just hit another new all-time high that's almost triple its old old all-time high from the previous bull run. So if you want to buy hardware for Ethereum mining right now as they're working towards no longer being mineable and much closer than they were four years ago and people used to kind of echo the same statement, you're buying hardware at peak price and you got to run the numbers, see what point it's worth it to you. But this isn't like buying a Bitcoin miner. Bitcoin mining is mineable today, it'll be mineable tomorrow, and it'll be mineable next year. And if it's no longer at, like mineable at some point, then some, some developers ruin the coin. Uh, it's supposed to be immutable, right? Just, it, it works, it's beautiful, it's the OG crypto, let it run, right? If you wanna change that, just make your own coin. So. As always, that, that's my take here. Um, Ethereum mining is more profitable than it's ever been, but it's also harder than it's ever been to get into. And there's more big players that are getting into Ethereum mining. It used to be just an altcoin, right? Well, now it's the second biggest cryptocurrency by market cap, and it's been there for years. People understand that, they respect that, and they realize how profitable it is. Even if they're just looking at it from a cash business point of view, buy hardware for cash, mine Ethereum, sell it for cash, that's it. A lot of industrial mining farms operate like that. And I actually don't really like it. It's part of like the, the, the dark side of crypto mining. It kind of gets away from the old decentralized roots. Obviously, I understand selling some coins here and there. But so anyway, that's my quick take on Ethereum mining and its insane profitability right now. And just kind of a little bit of my input and whatever else. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel, leave a comment below and let me know what you think about Ethereum mining. As always, I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next video.